And last up uh, for the question of the day, this comes to us from Massive Crypto. And he, I see this disturbing trend uh, about wallets and exchanges. So let's jump in the office. So, hello, everybody, and welcome back to the office for another Q of the day. And this was uh, one of those concerning questions that I got that I thought uh, this would be a good one uh, for to answer uh, live or you know recorded. So this one comes to me from Massive Crypto. Uh, I had subscribed to your YouTube and used your referral links for uh, opening up exchanges. Voyeur has been good, but sometimes their holds are uh, a bit too long. So uh, my real problem just started with uh, Crypto.com about two weeks ago. I was trying to buy crypto on their platform using my uh, US dollars that I had currently on their exchange. But every time I try to use it to buy coins, it keeps saying unexpected error occurred. I've sent more than 10 emails to their customer support and they don't respond back to me. Uh, what are your recommendations that I should do? Appreciate a quick response, I'm very worried. So here's the thing uh, about all these different exchanges and whatnot. Um, we had done a, a Q&A session with uh, Steven uh, Ehrlich. He was the uh, CEO of Voyager. We got on the channel to answer specific questions. And ever since then, I have been getting bombarded with like, hey, I'm using this exchange and that exchange and this wallet, and they don't get back to me, so could you reach out to them? Look, uh, I can only do so much uh, as far as these different exchanges and, and whatever else. When we have problems, I can always reach out to them and like ask them you know, the, the questions and, and bring people on. Uh, but you got to work the system. And uh, here, uh, the system is, looks like it's already been worked. You know, he's done 10 emails. So the, the question that I had for him was you know, massive, which was, you know, when was your first email and when was your last email that you put out? If you sent them 10 emails in uh, yesterday, then you know you got to give them time to, to respond and see what they do. But I will say this: um, I have seen an uptick of problems with all of the exchanges, every single exchange and every single wallet. Because I get emails all day long about this wallet's not doing this and this exchange isn't doing this, and it's it's concerning. But I think what's happening is is growing pains, and I'll tell you what I mean. As things start to really take off, uh, we saw a massive uh, blast off in 2017. Uh, exchanges were just shutting down. They weren't letting people in. You couldn't do anything about it. Uh, people were selling their uh, Binance accounts with nothing in it for like thousands of dollars just so people could have an account and actually start trading, which I thought was ridiculous and stupid, but what are you gonna do? So um, when these things start to happen, you start to see like a little bit of a bull run, a little bit of an uptick, a little bit more of sales, and you see like massive things start, not even massive things, just like a, a little bit of a tidal wave coming in, you start to see these issues coming about. Now, this is the problem with being in this space. If it was easy, everybody would do it. And you know, we talked about uh, these other parts on, on today's episode, but when you have these issues, uh, you're just gonna have to work the system. Now, if it's something like, you know, you have like a specific question, like, hey, can you reach out to them? I will reach out to them and I will say, hey, this is what's going on. But uh, I will just say this, uh, every single one has had an issue in some way, shape or form. And uh, like people know that I really like Voyager. So, you know, they always reach out to me when they have a Voyager problem. And I say the same thing, reach out to them, send them an email, give them 24 to 48 hours to respond. And usually these things get, get taken care of. Um, I know there was one part where someone had stated in, in Twitter, said, hey, they have uh, increased the um, uh, transfer fees by like 6x. So if you wanna transfer any type of cryptocurrency from Voyager to your wallet, they bumped it up by 6x. And I was like, what? That doesn't make any sense. So I actually transferred one Ethereum from Voyager to my uh, ledger and uh, or no, actually, it was it was from Voyager, and I, I sent it to Gemini because uh, it was just super simple, and uh, it was the same, you know, 0 0.001 or 0 0.01. I forgot what it was it, it equal out to like four dollars, something like that. And that's this was like last week when the fees for Ethereum was like three dollars something. It was ridiculous. Um, so all I can say is, you know, if you're having problems, try to do try to do your due diligence and kind of get out there now. Are all exchanges fantastic? No. I mean, I get emails about exchanges. I'm like, I don't know what the heck that is. I, I'm like, or wallets, I'm like, I have no idea what that is. And there, it seems like there is like a proliferation of that. So all I can just re recommend to you is, is just try to do the safe thing. If it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. And just kind of just sit back and go, is that a real deal? I mean, is that, you know, someplace in like uh, Uzbekistan that they have an exchange that, you know, 
uh, the interest rates are, are super low and they give you loans, whatever else you're like, eh, maybe not. So, so um, that's all I can say. If you're looking for uh, alternatives, look in the description. There is the um, uh, Coinbase alternatives uh, spreadsheet. Just give that a, give that a go. And then uh, if you have something majorly happen where you've worked the system and you're like, I can't do this, then definitely reach out to me. I will reach out to the exchange and we'll just, or wallet or whatever else, and we'll just have a little dialogue with them and bring them on the show because usually that kind of helps <laughs> when you got somebody when you have a channel where you know you, you get like 10 20 30 thousand views usually they see they seem to respond a little bit so that's all i'm saying all right um so that's it for today uh let's uh let's jump back all right so that's it hope that uh helped out a little bit uh but um before we take off i want to give you some random shout outs if you don't know there's a join now button underneath and it doesn't give you anything special it's just a buck 99 and uh you get access to uh, me just doing random shout outs, that's it. So first up, uh, Keith, Susan, thanks for signing up, appreciate it. It's uh, Lincoln Echo, uh, Banast, Bun, Mark, DJ Hausa, David Mills, and Timothy Dillon. So thanks so much for signing up, I really appreciate it. If you like those videos, there's gonna be two more that's gonna show up on your left and right. I don't know how that works because uh, YouTube has control of that. And uh, that's it for today. So uh, thanks for sticking with me, really appreciate it, and uh, I will see you on the...